Greetings and welcome back to Idol Kingdom Defense. In our last episode, we got some upgrades of our most powerful heroes. And they powered our way through the little bottleneck that I was in at the beginning of the episode. And I stated at the end of the episode, I was going to let them go as far as they can. And I wasn't going to change anything. They went from stage 5350 to stage 5355. They didn't get very far. No, they didn't. So they kind of needed my help. So I did miscellaneous things. I improved the archers. I did some upgrades over there. I gave them an extra 100 levels. That was actually the last thing I did. And I have done a couple of upgrades of armor. The five-star rares are coming slowly. As a result, they have made some significant advancement here. We are now at stage 5564. You know, there were a lot of stop and goes here, especially in like the last two hours. Basically, they'd get beaten and I'd run it once or twice more without changing anything and then they'd win and then they'd go and they'd get beaten again. The same kind of thing. Here, they are really kind of stuck. I mean, really kind of stuck. You want to see stuck? Watch this. So we're probably going to try something a little bit different today. Something my viewers have been telling me that I really do need to do. But first, let's just watch what I call stuck. I mean, this is not a situation where it's kind of close, you know, we can run it twice. Yeah, notice all of the cannons lining up. The boss is also a cannon there. So the problem is that they're just firing and firing and they are bringing that wall down. Yes, yeah, so that is going to require a significant increase in power. Look how many cannons are left. And they weren't even beating on the cannons. They were beating on the guys on the wall. So we're going to have to do something significant. Probably a number of things, but there is something I have in mind. My viewers have been telling me I really do need to use the lower ranked warriors. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise one of them up and we're going to do a replacement. Uh, the individual that I am targeting will be him. So he's already up to 700. He's got a lot of soul shards. I don't know if it's enough. We're going to do some summoning beforehand. Maybe we'll get some more. The reason I'm selecting him is because his paralysis starts at like a three second situation. And if we get over here, it's an extra one second. Now, if we look at this fellow over here, this guy is one of the throw up in the air guys. One second, and if we go over here, it's an extra 0.6 seconds. Probably end up using him eventually, but I think the other guy is a good guy to start with. But we have a lot of summoning to do. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't see it, I have a lot of Ascension Stones. I have a look at 104,000. So I can actually start ranking up all those A-class ones that we have as far as possible because they're probably going to be there for a while. So I might as well just do that if I'm going to get Ascension Stones at that kind of speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and do some summoning. Maybe we can actually get that new hero. Anyway, we're going to try to burn through this as quickly as possible because I have 21,000 of these and I do have 53,000 rubies. So I'm hoping for some serious help, but I do want to first try boosting the hero and seeing if that can do it. I know who I'm going to be replacing, by the way. All right, so let's get going here because we have a lot to do. Okay, we've got some Adrian over there. Wow, we got some good stuff here. Uh, except, of course, this guy here is actually the one I'm targeting for removal. Uh, because he doesn't do a lot of damage. He does do the speed buffs. But I question how much I actually need that, you know? I would rather have some kind of control or debuffing over that. Because, I mean, a lot of times the, the warriors are running to a spot and then they're staying there for a long time, you know? Uh, more Adrian is good, though. More Adrian is good. So let's just try to get through this. Okay, no. Um, okay, we did get some more um, three-star. Wow, it's terrible there. Let's just keep it going here. Okay, we, whoa, ooh, we pulled Gabriel. That might end up being very good for him. That might end up being very good for him. Okay, that was good. We got some uh, Harold over there. All right, so let's keep going here. 
All right, so keep it going. Just keep it going. Okay, we got some Vincent. And that's about it. Okay, uh, some two-star guys. Maybe the guys we're actually going to be using in the future. Okay, no four stars. No four stars. No four stars. That's basically what I'm looking for. Okay, we got some Anthony down here. And, okay, some more Vincent. Vincent requires a lot of cells before we can even think about using him. Although I do believe he's one of those throw-up-in-the-air guys. I'll have to look at that. Uh, nothing there. I see nothing. Nope. Okay, we got some Lucas up here. Don't know if he'll ever make it back in. Uh, we got some Anthony and we got some Julian. Any upgrade is a good upgrade. All right, and let's keep it going. Can we pull some uh, Christian or Kamala? Okay, we got some more uh, Gabriel up here. All right. Or Camilla, I should say. All right, let's see. Okay, some Gabriel. This is good. Uh, we're getting a lot of him. He must want to really get in there. Okay, some Vincent. All right, let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going. I have 12,000 left after all, right? Mm, looking for four stars. Looking for four stars. Okay, some Sophia, and that's kind of about it. In the future, I don't know if I end up scrapping some of the soul shards for the, uh, the A-class ones that I'm just never going to use again, you know? I would like to re I resist that for now. And we got some more Adrian down here. Okay, and it hung a little bit there. Okay, some Anthony. Because we don't know what's coming in the future. You know, what is Total War going to be? Maybe we need more than we actually have right now. You know, maybe we actually need others. So in terms of ones like that, I'm just going to kind of hold off. Okay, so more Gabriel. We're getting a lot of him. I mean, I know we can rank him up once. Some Sophie over there. Is it possible if they keep giving them to us, can we rank him up twice? All right. All right. Uh, some Lucas down here. Alrighty, nothing yet. Okay, got 9,200 left. And some um, Daniel, who I said he is kind of the target for removal. Okay, not much going on there. I don't see nothing. Nope. 8,000 left. I do see I am getting uh, soul shards of the guy I am planning on ranking up. And I got some more Adrian over here. Some Camilla over there. And uh, some more. Well, okay, we got some Lucas. And, of course, we got some Gabriel over here. A lot of Gabriel coming in. And some Sophia. And, of course, we got uh, Harold. And then we got uh, Julian over here. This was a good one right here. More like that. And yet, the new one. I think it was Marion. Still just not getting much of her at all, am I? I think I bought some of her in the store. Um, some Daniel down here. Uh, nothing. You got 6,000 left. All right. Nothing usable, but we did get uh, some of this fella over here. Uh, more, more soul shards or better soul shards, right? Because we are going to crank him up. All right, and more of him. Okay, no four stars. Nope. Okay, some Vincent. Yeah, Vincent's going to have to show up a couple of times if he wants to get in there. Okay, uh, a couple of cells for uh, Christian. I don't think we're anywhere near ranking him up. Uh, we got some more Anthony, though. I think that's like three or four times we pulled him. Okay, this was good. We got some Daniel, and we got some more Gabriel, though. That's not bad. I mean, could we rank him up twice? Maybe that gets him back in. 
Roderick. I mean, he might be someone we end up removing as well because he kind of debuffs attack as opposed to doing control. Okay, we got 3,000 left. Okay, Daniel. Okay, some Julian. Just keep it going. All right, nothing there. Okay, some um, Adrian over there. That's who that is. It's Adrian. Uh, nothing there. Okay, 1,700. I'm not going to do too many with the rubies, but I will do some. All right, so some Kamala there. We ranked her up in the last episode, so I think we would need a lot to do that. Basically, we'd have to pull her, so I don't see that happening. Some more Roderick down there. Okay, we only got 1,000 left. All right, and... And we got some, uh, we got a lot of Anthony. Maybe we can rank him up. And that's going to be the last one. All right. All right, let's do some, uh, let's do some Ruby rolling here and see how that works out. Okay, I'd kind of like a higher concentration of good stuff here. And I'm not seeing it. Nope, not seeing it at all. All right, just a couple more. I don't want to go too crazy with this because we did have a lot of hero seals. Uh, we got some stuff, but I'm going to get some more Lucas over here. All right, I think we'll just do two more. All right, nothing there. And finally, that's it. Well, at least we ended off by getting some more of him, by pulling him. I'm pretty sure we pulled him a few times, didn't we? Okay, so let's just take a look first and see what it is we can do. Obviously, we can rank up Gabriel. I'm just going to look at him for a moment here. He's not in, so I can actually do that. Looks like we could do that twice. All right, this is a big one for him because this is going to increase his boost of the archers. This might make him worthy of going back in. So it's going from 160 to 240. And I'm pretty sure I can rank him again. Yeah, might as well just do that. This is going to be an increase for his accuracy. All right, so that's where he is right now. The next one will increase the duration. No, actually, that's going to boost the crit of the archers. This is the attack. This one's going to boost the crit. But we'd actually have to rank him up for that now, wouldn't we? Uh, but we'll have to see. If I run into a tough situation, we'll see. We'll see whether or not that's something we can do. Uh, I'm just going to crank him up because, like I said, I'm not actually using him at the moment. And I do... Is he... Oh, he uses the poison. All right, so he debuffs defense. So he may be just not somebody we're going to put in at all. Yeah, I think that you do the, uh, the paralyze. Yeah, he does the paralyze for two seconds and then another 1.5, which doesn't seem as good as the guy we're working on, does it? Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. And I think he does the actual stun, but he only stuns for one second and then another second. All right. So I think what we're going to do before we rank up anybody we're actually using, I think we could do her, though. We're not using her, right? All right, this is going to basically boost the golems a little bit more. I don't think we can probably put her in until we get her to epic. Because we do have Xavier, who's legendary. He's actually a legendary one star. I could probably get him all the way to legendary five star if I wanted to do. It's just that, uh, after all, the golems have got to be as good as the, uh, uh, the cavalries that he has. I don't want to do any more increases that's going to affect what we currently have. So what I want to do is we're going to do some massive boosting. All right, we did get a bunch more cells for him. It's like 500 more or something like that. No, actually, it's like, yeah, it's like 500 more. We got about 500 more. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do massive boosting on him. See, he's got the 30% chance to paralyze, but it's for three seconds. So I'm guessing, is that part of his... Yeah, he throws in an area effect over here. And it's part of his javelin attack. So it should affect people inside the area of damage. So we'll have to see about that. All right, 
this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to crank him up as much as I can. We're going to level him. I'm going to take armor off of somebody, put it on him, and see if it actually makes a difference. Because we want that control aspect, don't we? All right, so let's start working on this because we have a lot of leveling to do. First, we have a lot of ranking up to do. All right, let's just rank him up as much as we can. All right, quickly. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't skip through that. But then again, it's not usual that you're going to do a lot of uh, ranking up at one time. So they don't really have a contingency for that. And I'm not going to run out of Ascension Stones anytime soon, right? Okay, so he's at four star uncommon. Five star uncommon. And then, of course, this is going to increase his primary skill here, so he's going to get more damage. Okay, and this is the one we're looking at here. 40% chance for three seconds. So I'm guessing that's going to go to 60. Not here, but when we do this one. Oh, it's 50. Okay, that's still, considering it's in the area effect, of his primary skill, that's still, it's an area effect thing. And three seconds is better than one second. All right, and then we're gonna do this. Okay, and that increases the paralysis by three seconds over here. So three, so it's six seconds of paralysis. Okay, and now of course he's going to epic. Okay, and that's going to increase the damage he does with his primary attack. And I I don't think I'll get him the legendary. But he's definitely very effective here, isn't he? All right, and this is going to increase his stunning ability. Okay, now it's 60%. Okay, so how many? We got a couple more left. Could I get him the legendary? Okay, it's going to be close. Uh, it's, no, it's not. We're going to be short. Right, so unfortunately, well, this did increase the duration of the paralysis. The thing is, I am now short. So I would like to get an increase for this one, but I think this will do for now. So he's a five-star epic. So what I am going to do, and wow, I actually used a lot of my ascension stones there, didn't I? All right, the individual that I am taking out is him. Because basically, he boosts the warrior's speed, and then he boosts their crit. I would rather have somebody doing control. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that off of him, and we're going to put that onto... Where is he? Oh, is he down? He's not down here. Oh, is... I've actually lost him. Oh, here he is. I was looking for legendary. We didn't get him the legendary. That's the reason I was a little confused there. All right, so he's wearing that now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to swap him in. Where is your out? And we're going to put... Is that him right there? Oh, actually, yeah, I didn't level him yet. All right, currently he's still level 700. I have to do something about that. So we'll take care of that right now. Where is he? He's right here. All right, so there's a whole lot of leveling going on. I do have a... Um, a lot of resources for that. It's just going to get expensive towards the end. So we're going to 1900 because everybody else is at 1900. He's got a lot of health though. I mean, that's a lot of health. Yeah, that is eating through my resources. All right, so we are approaching there we go. All right, so he's technically the highest level. He's nearly got uh, 500k there in terms of health. I don't remember anybody else being that high. No, I guess maybe I was mistaken there. All right. All right, so what I want to do is I want to just go with that and see if there's any kind of a change. It was terrible. We do have other things we can do, so let's just see whether or not the extra level of control is going to help us.
Um, it looks a little better, but oh, actually, I think they're going to do this. Yeah, they actually handled that pretty uh, pretty well that time, didn't they? But did you notice how long the battle was going on? It took them a long time to beat them, but I'm thinking that stunning was keeping the damage off the wall. So, yeah, that was actually fairly good. So let's see what happened here. All right, so our damage dealers got a lot of time to actually do damage. So, wow, yeah, I mean... I was told I should be using them, so I definitely think that is something we're going to be doing in the future here. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really like Daniel being there. I mean, speeding up the warriors, how often are they run around? That's the thing. How often are they doing that? And in terms of increasing their crit, well, I mean, it's the wall, it's the castle that the damage is coming from, right? So, yeah, it is definitely a matter of control. Definitely a matter of control. See, he's all the way down there. He didn't do a lot of damage, but that's not what he's supposed to be doing. So that worked out very, very well. But I do have some other increases I can do, and I do plan on doing them. For instance, we have um, Anthony here. So we can definitely get a nice little boost out of him. Oh, he is going to be getting an increase to his own paralysis, as a matter of fact. So let's just do that one. So he's doing 80% chance for paralysis, but it's only two seconds, as you can see. What's his last one? Yeah, it's a 1.5 seconds, as opposed to Leonardus, who's doing a lot more than that. I mean, it's like six or seven seconds at the point we left off, wasn't it? All right, and I do believe... No, I think that's all we can do with them. I mean, it could always increase the ones we're using down here, like Evan and Xavier and Marcus, I mean, we can always do that because we do have a lot of extra soul shards for that. So there's definitely no problem with that. I just, at the moment, I don't see a reason to do it because I think that we got the extra little oomph we needed by kicking up our new friend over here. Actually, let's just go back for a moment. And there he is right there. So a little B-class hero, if you crank him up, he's actually quite devastating. Uh, right here is when I saw that, I said, three second, uh, basically paralysis, that sounds really good. And of course, if you go over here, it's an extra four seconds. So you saw a lot of those cannons just not doing anything for a long period of time. I mean, that's seven seconds right there. How often can his skill act? Hold on a second. Nine seconds. He can use his skill every nine seconds. And if they're paralyzed, well, that's seven seconds right there. And of course, if we can wrap him around, get a few more of his cells, which unfortunately I've gotten rid of in the past, then we can get him to legendary, which will increase his damage. And of course, get him around so maybe he can upgrade this again. So my viewers were correct. These low-level warriors who do control are actually very very useful i mean that was a really rough start there in the beginning you know i mean with all the cannons it was hard well you know if you stun them all it's a lot easier to destroy them isn't it because that battle did take a long time so now i would really be interested to see how far they can go hopefully it's more than five stages Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See ya!